Number 21. A well-thrown ball is caught in a well-padded mitt. If the deceleration of the ball is 2.1 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared and 1.85 milliseconds has elapsed uh, from the time the ball first touches the mitt till it stops, what was the initial velocity of the ball? All right, so let's just create a uh, quick sketch. So we have a ball, and it says that, uh, well, it doesn't say it's thrown, but it, it must be thrown, right? So it's thrown, and it's going to hit this particular mitt right here. Okay. And what's going to happen is as soon as the ball hits the mitt, the ball is going to slow down. All right. So uh, let's just draw this little part in here like in red. Okay. So it's going to slow down as it hits the bit. Now the deceleration it set on this ball uh, during this disc, during this particular uh, point is 2.1 times 10 to the minus four, as it says in the problem. So the acceleration then, since it said it's a deceleration, we have to make sure we put it in as a negative sign. So 2.10 times 10 to the minus four meters per second squared. Okay, and the time it takes to go from just touching the mitt to then eventually coming to a stop is 1.85 milliseconds. All right, so the time value there is, so T is equal to 1.8 five milliseconds. And it also gave us a nice conversion factor if we need. So, um, okay, now it says uh, the ball then eventually comes to a stop, right? So the ball comes to a stop at this particular point where that arrow is. So right here, right here, the velocity on well, the final velocity, right, is zero. Why is that the final? Well, because I'm given information or being asked information about the initial point, which is right here. So if that's the initial, then sometime in the future, meaning when the ball reaches this particular point, that has to be the final value. Okay, so this is the initial velocity. Now that's what we're looking for. They want us to find the initial velocity. Okay. They gave us the acceleration, as I wrote down over here. So we do know that the acceleration is negative 2.10 times 10 to the negative 4 meters per second squared. And I do know that the final velocity is equal to 0. So um, what, I, what I'm actually going to do first before I think about any equations, I'm just going to make sure I have consistent units here. So I notice the time was in milliseconds, but uh, yet my acceleration is in seconds. That's not good. You have to make sure that the time values are consistent. So let's simply uh, take 1.85 milliseconds and convert that into uh, seconds. So let's write that over here, 1.85 milliseconds, convert that into seconds. Let's write down what we're given, 1.85 milliseconds, milliseconds, and milliseconds on the bottom, seconds on the top. Now they gave me a conversion factor right here in the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that in. So it says one millisecond for every 10 to the minus three seconds. Milliseconds will cancel, leaving you with seconds. So now all you have to do is just multiply that in the calculator. So when you do so, it's going to come out to 0 0.00185 seconds. Great, so that's the new time value, okay? So this equals, it's the same thing as saying 0 0.00185 seconds. Okay, wonderful. Now, let's take a look. We have all these variables, okay, and we're looking to solve for the initial velocity. I know the time, I know the acceleration, and I know the final velocity. So now what you want to do is you want to consider a formula that relates all four of these variables. Why? Because if you know a formula that relates all four of the variables, but yet you don't know one of them, you can do algebra to find it. So let's take a look at the formulas on the upper right hand corner. Which formula has all four of those variables in it? Yep. If you notice the one all the way at the top, you'd be correct. So let's write that formula down. So it says that the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration multiplied by time. So let's just plug in the values. The final velocity is zero. The initial velocity is what we're looking for. Let's, so let's leave that VI. The acceleration was a negative 2.10 times 10 to the minus four. 
I'm also going to leave out the units now because I know that they're all consistent. And the time was 0 0.00185. Now just know that the, in, the initial velocity, the unit that we will find, will be in meters per second. Uh, reason being is because those were the units of the, uh, the distance value was in meters and the time value was in seconds. So let's do some math. So this is zero equals the initial velocity. Now multiply uh, negative 2.1 zeros times 10 to the minus four multiplied by 0 0.00185. Okay, so now it's a VI minus, it's negative, 3.89, because I'm gonna round to three sig figs, times 10 to the minus seven. Okay, great. So now I just have to add this on over. 3.89 times 10 to the minus seven. And then add that on over to, oh, 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 I realized, I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's a really small initial velocity. The ball was barely moving, see? So even I make mistakes, but let's learn from it. So as I'm calculating this, right, to give you a little thought, uh, give you a little insight, as I'm calculating this, I'm like, well, wait a minute, the initial velocity is going to come out to be this. That 3.89 times 10 to the minus 7, that's like, that's like this, right, with the decimal over here, it's really small. It's really small. It's way too small to be reasonable. So, not that everything has to be reasonable, but it's always a good check. So, I say to myself, well, wait a minute, did I make a mistake somewhere? So I look back, and sure enough, I did, right? Some of you may have caught the mistake before, so thank you, that was good. Some of you may have not. Take a look for it now. Can you find it? Well, the mistake is right here, and this is a silly mistake, and these are the mistakes you want to minimize, because these are really going to affect your grade. The deceleration is 2.10 times 10 to the minus 4. So look back up at the problem. But look what I wrote. Look what I wrote. I, for some reason, converted it to a negative four. So, totally wrong. Okay? So, here's a, here's, a, here's a lesson that you can learn actively as I'm making my mistake. Okay? So, always check to make sure the answers are reasonable. And if the answer doesn't make sense, it, it doesn't mean that it's not right. <laughs> uh, because maybe they, give you, maybe they gave you a weird problem. But it's always a good idea to go back and check then. Just make sure. Okay, because usually uh, they'll be pretty accurate. So now just what I'm doing is I'm going to erase all the, the negative fours and just put four there. Okay, I got to do one more here. Right, erase that one. Let's put a to the fourth. Okay, now since I corrected them everywhere, I don't see any more mistakes. Um, let's finally now calculate this. Um, this initial velocity correctly. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna multiply these two numbers. All right, so negative 2.10 times 10 to the fourth times 0 0.00185. And I look at my calculator, and now I, I plugged in 1.00128 instead of 185. See, I'm always constantly checking. Um, why? Because I've made plenty of mistakes in the past, and I learned from them. So always constantly check your work, okay? So now I went back and I recalculated it, and it is correct because I'm looking at it on the calculator. Um, so this should work out, so this should be minus 38.9, uh, okay? Now to solve for the uh, initial velocity, add the 38.9 to both sides, okay? That cancels, therefore, now I'll write it on the side. So now my initial velocity is equal to 38.9 meters per second. That sounds a lot more reasonable. And, uh, and I'm, I'm positive it's right now. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope, I hope uh, you learned something from this and especially from my own mistake. So definitely, especially when it counts on a particular test, take your time, make sure the answers are reasonable and uh, don't make the silly mistakes because you don't want to lose points there. All right. So again, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. And if it did, please do subscribe. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time.